Hey guys, Chris and I are excited. We're gonna have some stuff done on our rig today by Moride. We're getting some upgrades that we've really been excited about. Martha hates the current stair situation because it has a cotter pin. The yeah. cotter pin is a pain to put in. Yeah, it's really hard for me to get it in and out because of where it's mounted at. It's right by the mounting bracket and I just can't get that to yeah. go in. <laughs> the dexterity required to put that in can cause a little frustration and inevitably, you know, it's in the dark, it's at night, it's in the rain. We're upgrading to a much, much better design that we are no longer gonna need any cotter pins. Yeah. We're also gonna be getting a really cool handrail yeah, it's a really nice safety rail. We're going to show you what it looks like. We'll show you what we have now, and then we'll show you the after. Absolutely. Stick around. We're going to have some fun toys on this one. The cotter pen that we're talking about is right here. So if you can come in real close, Martha, and show them. This cotter pen is right next to that bolt, and that's the hole it has to be in. So every time we have to adjust the stairs, we've got to pull this cotter pen in and out. And I'll tell you, that is a frustrating little piece. So one big difference between our step and the, the Lippert solid step is that our strut assist is strut assist at 100% of the travel. Um, theirs is usually about, I think it's somewhere around 80%. So usually that first foot or two as it's coming out of the door, you don't have that lift assist. Um, it's just free falling, and then the strut catches it. So on theirs, they have a latch system that goes into the doorway and locks it in there so it doesn't fall before the customer's ready for it. Since ours is strut assist at 100%, when you open the door, the struts are gonna hold it upright. And so then to pull it out, all you have to do is start pulling. You don't have to detach any sort of latch, but it's stress is the entire way up and down. So that's why on our stress assist, it doesn't have a latch, but it still has these brackets here that will sit between the door frame and the door. So when the door closes, those brackets will actually hold the step solid as you're driving down the road. You're not gonna get any wobble or vibrations. That's actually what holds it secure driving down the road, not the latch. But since uh, those, struts, since those, uh, those struts are holding it upright in the door, the latch isn't needed. Awesome. Thank you. You bet. When I come up the stairs with Callie, occasionally she'll try to dart by me. And one time she did, and she knocked me sideways. I tried to grab the rail, and if I wasn't paying attention, the rail goes. So we're going to be putting something in. It's not going to do this. So when Callie comes by, if she bumps Martha and I, we're not going to fall off. And like I said, it's going to be a lot better. And the cool part is I no longer have to fold this over the door. So stick around and see what we got. All right, so we've got two new Mori products here. Uh, first one here is the new safety rail. So this is the replacement for the lend -a hand that gets factory installed on the RVs. This one here extends out quite a bit further than what even the furthest extension does on those lend -a hands On top of that, it's also more secure. You still get a little bit of that side-to-side -side wobble, um, but it's greatly reduced from what you get on the existing lend -a hands And then this is actually fold up almost entirely flush. So it actually folds out and extends just like your awning brackets do. Extend it out, that's all it takes right there. And when you put it away, it's got a nice heavy duty magnet here that will actually hold it secure as you're driving down the road. So this will eliminate the need to, to fold the handle either over the door or uh, back the other way. What I'm excited about is Mori's gonna put in a latch extender. It's gonna go on the door, so I'm gonna able to access it from the bottom step. Currently, I have to go up a couple steps in order to reach the door handle and then come back down. So it's gonna be a lot easier for me to get in and out of the coach, especially like on rainy days or anything. So I'm really excited for that. 
So there's another thing that I'm gonna love about this latch extender. Obviously, I don't have the vertically challenged problem, but you know what it is? She can't even open the door when we're hooked up. She has to come over here and she's over here tippy towing to get the door latch when we're hooked up and we need to open it to get the stairs out. So guess what? Martha gets to open the door now. We also have the new latch extender right here, which gives easier access to this door handle. So for the vertically challenge, a lot of times what, what's required is walking up and down the steps, getting up here, open the door, walking back down, and then going back in. With this here, you can actually reach the handle easily from the ground. It gives you easy access. It also prevents you know having to pinch your fingers in there. I know a lot of folks complain that you know they broke nails um, trying to get their, their hands in there to open the door. You got a lot more leverage right here. Um, it's just a more comfortable grip. It feels kind of like just opening your fridge door now. And we've designed it so you can actually close off the handle as well. So even closing it, you get a little bit more oomph as you're, as you're closing the door. So look a lot easier to both open and close the door now. We also got a 36 by 90 inch cargo tray. Yeah, and they added the cargo tray riser kit to it so we can have storage underneath the tray as well. Trying to maximize every inch without uh, going over every pound. <laughs> so what you doing here? We are adding the uh, riser kit on here. So the tray comes with an inch and a half of built-in clearance there to clear the lip. Yeah. Some units have a deeper, uh, deeper lip on the inside of it. So yeah, these uh, riser kits can be set for uh, for several different heights. What a lot of customers do is if they're putting it in, um, mm -hmm. and this is what he mentioned to do is we'll just extend it to the highest setting and then that gives space for, for small items underneath the tray as well. Nice. So how heavy is the tray? Getting heavier by the second. <laughs> <laughs> Probably uh, 150 total. Okay. Would be my guess. And what's in the inside? Uh, it's uh, wood with carpet over. All done. All done. That was quick. Yeah, very easy install. <laughs> That's the nice thing. They make them fully assembled for us. So really the only thing that adds any amount of time is if you have to do a riser kit. But even that's pretty quick. Yeah, and the riser kits look really nice too. Yeah. You know, you can always shim it up with wood boards that does the same thing. I just think it gives a cleaner look to it. Yeah. And you can make it very exact. So if the customer wants it to just barely clear the compartment, mm -hmm. you can set it for that height or you can extend it up there and then you have the storage underneath. Yeah. Yeah, I like that because we have our gym pads. They'll yeah. be able to go right under there. Mm -hmm. and... Because we can connect them and put it all along the bottom. Yep. Huge shout out to Moride. They came here, they installed a lot of products. We're here at the Lions RV National Rally. Best thing about the rally is they have the techs come and install these items for us. All these things we got were for convenience. We're looking for easier ways to get in that are safer, stronger products, easier access to our cargo, and most importantly, just to make our life on the road more convenient. So it's been a couple weeks since we got our Morai cargo tray, and how do we love it, Chris? Well, other than the fact that she made me clean everything out and actually organize my life, it's fantastic. It was like spring cleaning. Um, but in all seriousness, the tray's been great. It makes my access to getting to the boxes and the totes quite a bit easier. Unfortunately, when you don't have it, you're crawling halfway into the bay just to reach. You know, these wide body trailers are great until you got to get the tote that's way in the back. Yeah. More I kept it pretty simple for us. You got a blue latch. All you do is lift that up. And then bring it out. I use these big 60 gallon Rubbermaid style totes. Callie's dog bed and usually the Traeger grills right here, but Martha's got that out right now. Um, but it's nice because it'll open on either sides and it's super easy to put back. As you can see, we have storage underneath that works out well. And then we're able to put our gym mats up against the wall. 
it's made our organization in here quite a bit better as you can see i mean we don't haul a lot of stuff the only thing that's out is the grill chris is happy about the cargo tray because that's his space or his man cave i love the stairs and the railing for travel days put it away that's it the stairs i love they're wider and the best part for me I can open it from the ground. Just like that. Chris and I are very happy with our new Moride products. It's definitely made our life easier and more organized and safe. Yeah, there's definitely that. Uh, take advantage of a rally when you go and if the manufacturers are there, most of the time you can get the products at a discounted price and usually they'll install it on your trailer. So it's a good way to go if you have the opportunity. Yeah, thank you to the Moray Techs for letting us record the install and asking a billion questions because I definitely had those. Yeah, we did. And it was a great experience and we're very happy with the steps. They do exactly what they're supposed to. Definitely fit better from my big old foot. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had these products for a couple weeks now. We wanted to test them out for you before we just threw an install video out, let you know if we like them, love them, hate them, and... We love them. We love them. <laughs> I hope the video was educational. I hope you see something you enjoy. And if we've earned your trust, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and mean the world to us. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and enjoy every moment.